with absolute zero BS, <laughs> I tell you that the bots are now in control of Radio DJ. Yes, I've actually found a way to connect Radio DJ and your playlist and your live radio station to the AI super brain in the clouds. It's able to see what songs are coming up and then record custom voice tracks based on your content and then send those files right back to your radio station and automatically get them on the air. Oh my goodness, the AI radio revolution is in full swing. We are on the air. So right here we're about to test the Robo DJ craziness. Look here in the playlist, it says trigger make. When that hits, it is gonna run through this workflow where it receives the trigger, then right here it hits a module called My SQL. What that is gonna do is look in this cue list to see what songs are coming up that it actually could talk about. This is very exciting. So once it does that, it'll then tell our robots over in the sky at ChatGPT to write a script, okay? We want you to write a very short script to promote three upcoming artists that are you know, already in our playlist. Here we go, we give it parameters that we want it to use. And then you're gonna send that to Eleven Labs to record the voiceover. And then you're sending it up to AWS, Amazon's cloud service where I have some cool code that will process the audio, it'll cut the silence out, and then it'll send it to Dropbox. And right here you can see I've got nothing in the Dropbox folder. So we're waiting for all this to happen. As you can see, right after this song plays, it is going to change my sweeper category. Right now I have it set up for a Robo DJ sweeper. And it's set that way because once this trigger fires, it's going to produce that voiceover to promote upcoming songs. Now, Look down here in the playlist, you see Robo DJ Sweeper. All that is, that's, you know, a trigger language for my make.com scenario to tell it to produce a voice track that's going to play over this song. So you see right here, SS, which is Sweeper. We want it to start right when the song starts. And that is going to be our, our voice track. Right now, it's just a dummy file. Because if we come over here, we go to Sweepers, and we go to Robo DJ Sweeper, this is going to be Sweeper 1 that is loaded up. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest, I have never run this scenario before. So we're doing this for the very first time together. <sighs> A little nervous. Okay, we're going to speed this along. And there we go, it's ending, and you're going to see, once it hits that make, okay, it's about to trigger the make, I'm going to start zooming out, and I'm going to pan down, it just triggered the make, and there we go, it's rolling, it hit our filter, and look at this, it's already working through, it produced the voiceover, oh my, this is going faster than I could talk, so it sent the file up to Amazon, this has to run, in one minute and 51 seconds. So we're kind of cutting it close. Let's see, there we go. Now it's sending it to Dropbox. This says it was a successful run. Let us see Dropbox. Oh my goodness, there's our tease file. So in theory, this should play when this song ends. Oh my God, this is gonna be very exciting. Now, just so we know what to expect, it should be promoting Survivor, U2, and Men at Work, because that's how I've coded it. Okay, we have a little more time. Let me show you how this is gonna work. See, I have these kind of placeholder sweeper tracks, and you see this file name? VT Robo DJ S1, so that's sweeper one, because I use sweepers for my voice track system on triple X 80s. So instead of doing a file sync or import new files, all I'm doing is having my system name the tease file to this file name every time. So this file just keeps overriding, which means 
whenever it comes up and is programmed in over a song, it'll be the new file saved. So this is very exciting. I mean, more exciting, look at that. Less than 10 seconds. So I'm gonna turn up the volume here. And then, uh, let's wait for copyright violations. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Get ready, 80s fanatics. We've got electrifying hits brewing from Survivor, U2, and Men at Work. All the hits to make you move and groove are right here. Keep it locked and roll back time on your ultimate flashback station, Triple X 80s. Wow. Okay, let's turn this down. And, okay, checking the math, Survivor, U2, and Men at Work. Yep, she totally nailed that. <laughs> and this proved the point. The bots truly are ready to take over triple X 80s. Just so we're clear, this isn't meant to spark a debate of whether or not you should use this, because I know there's a lot of AI haters out there. This is just to show that it is possible to pull something like this off. We could save <laughs> the debate for a future video. And of course, the quality of your output, your script, basically depends on your prompt that you feed to the bot. So if you want your script to sound different, match your station's brand and tone of voice, well, you just, you know, embed all these rules, guidelines into the prompt. That's how this works. This was just a quickie to prove that it works. I need to refine the prompt a little more because I wasn't totally thrilled with the script. I think over time, with more refinement, it will get better. This is mainly just to prove that Radio DJ is able to send a signal to this no-code automation platform, make.com, which then is able to talk to your database back at your radio station and look ahead to see what songs are coming up. Let's refresh this. And boom, Survivor, U2, Men at Work. And this just opens up a ton of possibilities now for kind of real-time robo voice track generation. This is real. Be scared. The AI radio revolution is happening. And if you want to see more on this, if you want me to do a deep dive on how I made this happen, well, please hit me with a like and a comment and do it quick before the robots get me.